It's a moment that stuck with Shannon Ingram. She was so terrified of speaking about having an abortion afterwards that I was the first person that she had shared her story with. That's how the master's student remembers hearing a young woman describe her experience terminating her pregnancy. Stories like this are common to hear because of abortion access issues in the province. According to a report from Canadians for Choice, Alberta has one of the lowest rates of hospitals in Canada providing the service. At the moment, I believe we have 6% of Alberta hospitals providing abortion services, um, which is quite low considering there is definitely no reason why every single hospital can't provide abortions for women. Even though a recent Global News IPSIS poll suggests 57% of Canadians believe in a woman's right to choose, the province only offers services in its two major cities. Some people are coming to us because they can't access it in their home jurisdiction. Um, we have better access set in some areas, but certainly uh, this isn't unique to Alberta. The lack of access also has a financial impact. It definitely makes it more complicated if you have children, for example. Um, you have to arrange care. And if you work, that's two days that you're missing. Um, if you don't have a car, you have to find a way to drive up to Calgary. Ingram adds wait times and a predetermined mindset by some medical professionals also cause some women to shy away. Portraying your prejudice on um, a woman is not necessarily helpful. That doesn't help anyone. Um, what would be helpful even further is if a clinic or a hospital were to provide abortion services in Lethbridge. Last year, the federal government approved Mifigamizo, also known as RU486, or the abortion pill. It's designed to terminate a pregnancy within the first 49 days. It's been widely available in Europe for more than two decades and in the U.S. since 2000. It's expected to be distributed in Canada by the end of this year. Caitlin Wilson, Global News.